Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Goodness in Every Bite. And today we are going to do a, since Valentine's is in the air, it's coming up soon. We are going to do, ta-da, little heart-shaped I love you cookies. So very easy to do. Okay. Today is January 20, 25th. So, 2020. And so let's get started. It's very easy to do. Okay. So I'm just going to switch the, turn the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. All right. Okay. Hang on. Here we go. All right, can you see that? Okay, all right. So now this technique that we're doing is, I'll just put that there, somewhere around there. No, I won't, actually it'll be in the way. Okay, the technique that we're gonna be doing is called wet on wet. Now remember, when you're doing wet on wet, icing does not wait for anybody to start drying. So you have to move fairly quickly on this. Okay, if you want to get the techniques and different colors in your cookie that you want. This is a shortbread cookie that I'm doing. You can use um, sugar cookie if you want. It's totally up to you. It's your cookie. Whatever you want. Okay, so we are going to start out with a trim around your cookie because you don't want the icing to slide off your cookie. Alright, so, oh, sorry, just going to grab my thing here. Okay, now we do a trim all around your cookie, not too close to the edge, because a little bit of the icing will push its way towards the edge of your cookie, and you don't want it to slide off, okay? So that's your edge. Now we're gonna flood the cookie with, whoops, with the white. Now, don't overload your cookie with too much icing. Like I said, it's going to flow off your cookie, and you don't want that to happen. So, and you go quickly. Now, at this point, you stop squeezing, okay? And then just push your icing out to the edge of your cookie. All right, just like that. If you don't have enough, just squeeze gently for a little bit of icing, but not a lot. People will automatically just instinctively want to fill in all the, the space. Don't do that, okay? Because you can have too much icing and it's going to flow over the edge. So, but if you don't have enough, just gently squeeze a little bit, stop squeezing, and then fill in your, your spots, okay? Uh, up to the edge, push it up, push, 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 okay? And that's it. Now, the fun is going to start. We Here's where you want to grab your red and here is your little trick with the red. Alright, now you're going to want to do circles, okay? Now this is a looser icing, it's a flood icing. It's not the trim because the trim is too thick, you can't do the same style you want to do. So you go in in the middle, you put your dots, squeeze a little bit and then you stop. Okay, now you want to go around the edge of your cookie, not too close to the edge, and then put in some circles, not too close, and you'll see why after. Okay, and then you do one at the bottom, and then you go all the way around, all the way around, and one here, and we'll put one here. Now, you're wondering, how am I going to make hearts out of that? Well, here's a handy dandy little tool called a toothpick. It's going to be so easy, it's going to blow your mind. Watch this. You take your toothpick and you start about a quarter of an inch away from your red circle. Okay, and then you just go... You're going to have the shakes doing this, so don't worry about it. We all have the shakes, okay? Now you just take your ice or your toothpick and you just drag it. Whoops! You drag it all the way through into the next circle, 
all the way down. See the heart shape it makes? And do a little swirl, just like that. Now you clean off your toothpick, and then you start again. Okay, and you go all the way up through into the next circle, go around, and then you do your little swirl. See how easy that was? Easy peasy. Anybody can do this. All right. And then you can either let that dry overnight and do the eye. Whoops. Here, I'll take this. Do, do the I and the U. There we go. The I and the U after it dries. Or you can do it now. So it's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. Okay, but I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to do it now. All right. Okay, just make sure your tip is clean. And then you just take your black and you do your... Oops, come on. Okay, and then you do your eye. Remember, you have to be fairly quick about this because icing waits for nobody to start to dry on you. And then you do the letter U, just very gently. And there you go. So, now you have your, turn this around, you have your, I love you, whoops. I love you cookie. Now how easy was that and how quick was that? You can do this, I know you can do it. Very easy, just little dots, toothpick, and there's your beautiful I love you cookie. All right, so let it sit flat to dry overnight because it takes about six to eight hours for royal icing to dry. Yeah, it takes a long time, but it's just the way royal icing is. All right, so I'm going to flip you up now so you can see me. Uh, there we go. Whoops. Okay, there we go. So see how easy that was? You can do it. I know you can do it. Just put it on. Give it a try. It'll take you a few times to to figure out your lines and your toothpicks and stuff like that. But it's so easy to do. Okay, you can do it. And then you can give your, your little honey bunny or your husband or boyfriend or whoever. And I love you, Cookie, for Valentine's Day. Okay? So, more videos to come on Valentine's cookies. So stay tuned for that. And if you have any suggestions on type of Valentine's cookie you want me to do, put it in the comment section below. Click that like button. Share, share, share. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I greatly appreciate all of you who come to check out my videos. I really do appreciate that. Okay. So until next time, take care and remember to always be a blessing and not a burden. Okay. Bye for now.